Hey, what's up guys, Matt here. And in the future, it seems like we're gonna be moving away from the typical smartphone form factor, which is contained in a single brick in your hands. And we're gonna be moving on to information displayed on the world. Everybody has their own idea of what the future will look like, but the consensus seems to be that we're gonna be moving away from containment and onto information everywhere. Movies like Minority Report show us interacting with information around us in a completely different way than we're used to, and the people that are actually behind that concept for the movie are actually building that in real life. So it shows that we're moving towards information around us and interacting with it in a different way. Coming back to today, we have Google Glass, which although it is in very early stages, we can see that it's changing the way we interact with our information. But if you can't wait to get that information out of your smartphone and onto the world, there are a few things you can do, and I'm gonna show you my top five augmented reality apps. Starting off with number one is an app called WordLens, which is a real-time translator for different languages. Instead of the traditional typing in a word and seeing what the translation is, you actually hold the phone up to whatever you're trying to translate, and the camera picks it up and translates it in real time. So say you're taking a trip to Mexico and you don't really speak Spanish and you want to know what some of the words say on, say, a menu at a restaurant, you can just point this at the menu and it'll tell you what it says in English. This app has been out for a while, but it's still one of the best augmented reality apps out there. Next up, we have a Dark Knight app, which is actually developed by Hans Zimmer, who is the composer of the music for The Dark Knight Rises. He wanted to augment the sound around you and make it feel like you're with Batman in Gotham City, and it's pretty awesome. And even though the movie's been out for quite a while, this is one of my favorite apps. Basically, the way it works is that you plug in a pair of headphones and you walk around, and all the noises coming around you are augmented through the phone into your ears. Now here's a little demo of what it sounds like, just me walking around in Target, and it sounds pretty amazing. So even though the movie has been out for a while, this is still just a really cool concept and really brings life to just walking around places and makes Hans Zimmer just that much more awesome and I use it as much as I can. Next up we have Augment which lets you place virtual furniture throughout your house to see what it would look like if you wanted to buy it. So let's say Samsung's ads are taking a hold and I wanted to buy one of their smart TVs. All I have to do is place a magazine down as a tracker and it notices that magazine and puts the TV on top of it in its place. So you can see what it would look like in that place. One of my really big buying concerns when it comes to furniture is that I just don't know if it's gonna look right in my house. But with something like this, it makes it a little bit easier. Now we have a game which is called AR Zombies and this lets you shoot zombies in your actual environment. So instead of walking around in the world in the game, you actually walk around in real life and shoot zombies on the street. It's really awesome and there's actually some pretty cool effects like a muzzle flash that comes out of the flash of the camera and you can shoot zombies all day and just have fun. I don't know if you'd want to do this in public because it'd make you look like a weirdo, but it's pretty cool and the future of gaming seems to be pretty bright if it includes something like this. Last but not least, we have Star Guide, which is one of many apps that do basically the same thing. And this allows you to point the phone at the sky and you can see what stars you're looking at currently. This could be really useful if you're into astronomy and you want to see what you're looking at and maybe quiz yourself, or you have a telescope and you want to see what you're looking at. For me, I like taking photos at night and I actually use this to help me compose some of my images and it just comes in handy so I can know what I'm looking at. So those are my top five augmented reality apps that you can get today. Check down in the description below to see pricing and availability so you can try these out yourself. For now, these apps have little use and they're certainly not revolutionary, they're just fun to play with. But it shows that once we get past the smartphone form factor and move out into the world, we have some really great potential and it's going to be a crazy future. So anyway, if you like this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, hit subscribe, that would be awesome. Like I said, I'm Matt and I'll see you guys in my next one. See ya.